Have you been working hard on your English lately? Well, if you have, I have 20 incredibly hardworking idioms that you can use to describe hard work. Let's go. Hello everyone, Anna here from EnglishLikeANative.com, the website with courses for all levels of English and a community to keep you motivated and engaged. Now let's get to work. To get back to or put your nose to the grindstone, the grindstone. This means to return to or start a hard, tedious task. Oh, right, that's my break over. I better get back to the grindstone. To be on a roll. This means experiencing a period of success or good luck. Yeah, we signed up two new clients last week and four new clients this week with three more in the pipeline. We are on a roll. Be snowed under. To be snowed under means to be overwhelmed with a very large quantity of work or commitments. Oh, I am so sorry I missed the teachers meeting today. Or with the exams around the corner and several members of staff self-isolating, I'm completely snowed under at the moment. To bend over backwards. This means to work extra hard to help someone or to make them happy. I don't understand why he continues to bend over backwards for Julia. She doesn't appreciate it. Blood, sweat and tears. If something needs blood, sweat and tears, then it's a hard thing to do or requires a lot of effort. We spent 15 years building this business. It took blood, sweat and tears to make it what it is today. Burning a candle at both ends. This means to work too hard as well as trying to do other things. My boss had a nervous breakdown last month. It's not surprising. He was burning the candle at both ends for many months. Get cracking. This means to get started on a project or task. Right, do we all know what we're supposed to be doing? Great. Then let's get cracking. Give it 110%. This means to try really hard to achieve something. I know you are all tired. It's really hot outside and you would rather be relaxing in the shade eating ice cream. But today is a very important day for our school. So I want you to get out there and give it 110%. To go the extra mile. This means to do more than what is expected to make something happen or help someone. We have decided to promote Nick. He went the extra mile for us during the pandemic and really showed us his commitment. Hang in there. This means don't give up. Keep going through the hard times. The next few months will be hard for all of us. Just hang in there. Things will improve. Jump through hoops. This means to go through an elaborate or complicated procedure in order to achieve an objective. We are in the process of applying for a mortgage, but we have to jump through so many hoops. To knuckle down or buckle down. This means to focus and work diligently on a task or problem. If you all knuckle down and do your revision between now and the exams, then you will pass with flying colours. To make up for lost time. This means to do something as much as possible because you were not able to do it before, like to catch up. I haven't seen my family for over two years, so we're going to go on holiday together. We really need to make up for lost time. To move mountains. This means to make every possible effort, doing the impossible if needed. Trust me, I will move mountains to make sure that you are satisfied with your new branding. No pain, no gain. This means suffering is necessary in order to achieve something. 
and the athletes are complaining about having to train on a Sunday, but no pain, no gain. To pull one's own weight. This means to do your fair share of work that a group of people are doing together. James, you have taken a lot of time off this month, and when you have been in, you haven't done very much work. We are all working hard to reach our deadline, so we need you to start pulling your own weight. Otherwise, we will have to let you go. To raise the bar. This means to raise the standards which need to be met in order to qualify for something. Oh, Apple have really raised the bar with their latest iPhone. To stay ahead of the game. This means to react quickly and gain or keep an advantage. Okay, we're changing our marketing strategy. Advertising will now include TikTok. We must stay ahead of the game. To stay the course. This means to keep going strongly to the end of a race or contest or task. We've been working with this client for 12 months on this project and we plan to stay the course and get the job done. To take the bull by the horns. This means to deal decisively with a difficult or dangerous situation. I've asked him several times, but he just ignores me. I must take the bull by the horns and just tell my landlord that I'm moving out unless he fixes the central heating. There you go, 20 idioms for working hard. Now, if you are a hard worker and you're motivated to improve your English, then why not join me and other motivated students in the Elan community on one of the Elan courses. Head over to EnglishLikeAnative.com to find out more.